Alex, show everyone what you've done. Is that both hands? You are the sunshine in my life. Hey up team, how you doing? You yeah, alright? That off of the video, I wanted to get some things off my chest, speak a little bit about how I'm feeling, and I'm getting a lot of messages on how I'm so positive and the way I'm dealing with this. A setback and to getting over it and getting where you want to be, and you have got, I have got a mountain to climb, there's no no hiding away from it. And I want to say it's very easily to be portrayed across in the media, across in YouTube and Instagram. You know, you see my highlights. The reality is, and I want you guys to know, that I am upset. I am finding it challenging. My self-talk is very good. When someone asks me how do I stay motivated, I reply with how don't you stay motivated? You know, the fact that we've got this opportunity to achieve what we want to achieve. Being transparent with you guys, it is not an easy journey. Understand that I'm going through hardships and challenges and feeling rubbish as well. As, as this positivity and I think the, the important message I try to get across is having that self-talk to, to snap out of those feelings because they, they do come, but there's no hiding away from it. But I think embracing that, embracing the hard work and, and switching your mindset and switching your thoughts. Media is it's filtered, you know, Instagram there's 50 filters. I think you can filter your life and make it look absolutely amazing when actually you're struggling and you're hurting inside. So to just to get that off, well, I am just like every single one of you. I was the gymnast watching the young ones. I've been through that journey. And I always had this perception of, of my heroes and my professional and these professional athletes as superhuman and like they're up there, there's no way you can you can touch them. And I am just another normal lad from Leeds. When I've been to to things like the Olympic Games and these major events and I've met the mega stars I'm famous, I've met the professional sports people. They're all the same too. They're just normal guys who have a skill and worked, worked, worked for years and years to improve that skill and that talent. And you can do the same. Uh, so yeah, let's dive into the vlog. Let's keep it positive. I'm glad I got that message out and cross to you guys who were feeling down. Um, but let's snap out of it. Let's start with another throwback montage. This week, I am 12 years old. <laughs> Your best circles, bro. Flat. Get your hips flat. Good lad. Do you trump? No. No, you did. No, you did. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> Lennox, show everyone what you've done. Is that both hands? Yeah, we're gonna pull them off. If it's too short, we'll leave it today, but we'll get back on tomorrow, yeah? <laughs> Ready? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. One, two, three. Is it that bad? Exactly. Go. Oh, not too bad. Part of gymnastics, eh, mate? Yeah. Good lad. <laughs> Lennox, you can do this. Go on, mate. You can do it, mate. Enjoy it. Feel the sting. Good lad. Come on, work for it. Five, Good lad. Six, seven, Come on. Eight, nine, ten. One, Good yeah. lad. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> but you are hard, Lennox. You are the hardest man I know, I tell you. Now. Yeah, boys, the beard is actually getting there. A few whiskers on there. I do, Sal. Alright. Dad. Yeah, it's looking better in here. How are you feeling, bruh? Yeah, right, bruh. Sweet Abix. Sweet Abix, bruh. I'll put your tennis racket in the skip, so. Oh, I was going to play with Andy next week, no? Uh, no, you won't, though, will you, bro? <laughs> Slick as. Slick as. 
start my session now at 15, 20 minutes stretching, really loosening my body off, and I do straight into my shoulder routine. Now it's important that I activate my shoulders. And it's not just for like definition, and it's more for stability. You know, I got bad impingement gymnastics there's a lot of pressure and impact on your shoulders so keeping them strong stable it works all the little muscles and the posterior chain behind in front and they use that theraband to warm up with that elastic if you need some therabands and elastics you can click the link in the description to turn gymnastics they sell some elite elite bands and they're you know, just fantastic i think every gymnast is a must i also use the theraband to warm up my glutes and my legs a minute obviously i'm not doing too much leg work because of my ankle so that's just getting warm fire in the glutes it burns like hell and then I do a core circuit normally for about 10 minutes leg lifts heel drives do a core circuit on the floor another staple of mine body preparation I've got to get the core strong not strong but maintain that sort of stability in the core you know I had a stress fraction in my lower back back in 2011 so ever since then I've put a massive importance on building a strong core and maintaining it to, to protect my back third key ingredient is then warming up the handstand and getting into handstand positions across the other apparatus rings P bars on the floor staple gymnastics so you have to have a solid handstand and having a solid handstand will improve all aspects of your gymnastics from everything now you think about all the apparatus men and women use handstand in every single one <laughs> <laughs> Ma, are you going to be doing the Body Bible 30 day handstand challenge in of March? Course, of course. Of course. Are you excited? Can't wait. Are you going to win a prize? <laughs> You're going to win the special prize? Prizes will be announced in the next vlog. That video of Lennox at 89 years old is it's something that happens every single day to mainly every single gymnast. You know, you can't shy away from it. You know, you say what you want about it. Kids should be made to do that. But, you know, our desire and, and his desire for the sport and how much he loves it and how much he wants to get on and do it and the, the culture of it is you have an obstacle, you have a setback, you cut your hands and you, you power through, you work through, you work hard. And, and to achieve and I just wanted to share that, that little video clip because it truly is incredible and a, and a reflection positively on gymnastics, not negatively. And at eight years old, going through that and how that develops you as a person just from that young age, having the discipline to come in here every night, work for three hours, hard, be in pain, you know, there's no shine away, your muscles hurt, you rip your hands, they bleed. It's just the, the nature of the sport, but it toughens you up and people saying a negative word about gymnastics it just frustrates me and um, I want to portray across the, tr the true meaning of the sport and how incredible it is. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Recovery is going very well. Thanks everyone for your support. Remember, train smart, keep it real. Lennox, show everyone what you've done. Is that both hands? You are the sunshine in my life. Hey up team, how you doing? You alright? That off of the video, I wanted to get some things off my chest, speak a little bit about how I'm feeling, and I'm getting a lot of messages on how I'm so positive and the way I'm dealing with this. A setback and to getting over it and getting where you want to be. And you have got, I have got a mountain to climb, there's no no hiding away from it. And I want to say it's very easily to be portrayed across in the media, across in YouTube, in Instagram. You know, you see my highlights. The reality is, and I want you guys to know, that I am upset. I am finding it challenging. My self-talk is very good. When someone asks me how do I stay motivated, I reply with how don't you stay motivated? You know, the fact that we've got this opportunity to achieve what we want to achieve. Being transparent with you guys, it is not an easy journey. Understand that I'm going through hardships and challenges and feeling rubbish as well. As, as this positivity and I think the, the important message I try to get across is having that self-talk to, to snap out of those feelings because they, they do come, but there's no hiding away from it. But I think embracing that, embracing the hard work and, and switching your mindset and switching your thoughts. Media is, it's filtered, you know, Instagram there's 50 filters. I think you can filter your life and make it look absolutely amazing when actually 
you're struggling and you're hurting inside. So to just to get that off, I am just like every single one of you. I was the gymnast watching the young ones. I've been